Welcome to Ask Dr. Maisha, where we're creating pathways to peace of mind. Today's question comes from Nicola A. And the question is, explain GABA and natural ways to increase it. What a great question, Nicola. First and foremost, let me explain what GABA is. GABA is actually a neurotransmitter. And to give you a little context about what a neurotransmitter is, neurotransmitters are chemicals that are produced in the brain that allow the nerve cells inside the brain to communicate with each other. And they have a lot to do with regulating the moods and the different systems of the body. Now, there are two types of neurotransmitters. There are neurotransmitters that excite things and there are neuro neurotransmitters that inhibit or slow down things. GABA falls in the category of relaxation or inhibitory neurotransmitters. So what is GABA? What does it do? GABA is responsible for regulating the body's internal rhythm and responsible for, for relaxation and for mental focus. So if you have a GABA deficiency, then you might experience things in the body like arrhythmias or abnormal rhythms of the heart. You may experience over excitation in general with your moods, insomnia, anxiety, and there are some different ways that you can naturally increase your GABA production. So first I'll talk about some food things that you can do. You, you, you all know that I am very much a food as medicine doctor and so we'll talk about some things you could do in your diet to, to stimulate GABA production and there and there are some other things that you can do as well to stimulate uh, GABA production and relax the mind. So the first thing is uh, food stuff. Green tea is a great way to stimulate the production of GABA. So if you are a tea drinker load up on any type of green tea. And there's lots of types of green tea. There's oolong green tea, which actually helps with weight loss. There's rose green tea. Uh, you can drink green tea hot, or you can even drink green tea cold in the, in, the, in the summertime. And I recommend brewing your own green tea. Of course, there's lots of commercial green teas on the market, but the most beneficial green tea is actually the one that you brew and, and prepare yourself. It has the most nutritional value. The second thing you can do is you can actually take the supplement L-theanine. And L-theanine is an amino acid that actually stimulates GABA production in the brain as well. So you can go to your local vitamin shop or you can order online at one of my favorite sites, iHerb.com, and you can take the L-theanine. But I do recommend if you're going to take L-theanine that you see your integrative medicine doctor or holistic doctor first and make sure that there's no other contraindication uh, of why you should not take that. The third thing you can do is you can eat car, excuse me, the third thing that you can do is you can eat complex carbohydrates. Now, of course, carbohydrates in our society has become a dirty word, but carbohydrates are not bad. That's why we get the itis, because after we eat carbohydrates, we actually stimulate the production of this relaxing neurotransmitter, and it makes us want to be laid back, relax, and go to sleep. So you can eat complex carbohydrates. Now here's the pitfall. We say, well, I'm stressed out, and I'm gonna just go eat me some pasta. You wanna think about what healthy complex carbohydrates can you eat? Beans, lentils, garbanzos, even bananas. These are carbohydrates that are good for you, rather than going to pasta and bread and eating those out of moderation. So that's where we fall into the pitfall with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are not totally bad for you. They can create a state of relaxation if you do them in moderation and eat the healthy ones. There are a couple of other foods that you can think about snacking on to help release uh, GABA in the brain. Bananas, I think I mentioned those earlier. Walnuts, almonds, broccoli, so go ahead and make that broccoli and rice casserole because you have your broccoli in there and you have a little bit of, of, if you do brown rice, a complex carbohydrate that's healthy. I mentioned earlier lentils, but also oats and other whole grains that are healthy like quinoa and brown rice. 
All of these things are things that increase GABA in the brain and they're also known to increase serotonin in the brain too. So they promote relaxation, they promote uh, good moods, elevated moods, and they're good for you. Thanks again, Nicola, for such a great question and for prompting a lesson on the brain and neurotransmitters today. Again, I'm Dr. Maisha. And to learn more about creating your wellness blueprint, go to www-create-your-blueprint.com and you can download your free guide to eliminating stress, life on your terms, pathways to peace of mind. Have a great day. Namaste.